of life. Today I want to talk about the mind-body connection and how the body really impacts the mind and then your performance at work um, as an employee, as a leader, whatever your role might be. It's really an important intersection there and the more you take care of your body, the more likely you're going to perform at a higher level at work and be more productive at work. You know that you'll just be able to show up with more energy and be able to accomplish more if you take care of yourself. So today I want to talk about three very fundamental things. Um, that would be your nutrition, your sleep, and also your exercise, and give you some tips. And these are big tips that I'm offering you um, on a personal level. There's so much information out there and so um, so many different ideas around this, but let me just give you some of mine uh, based on my experience being in the fitness industry for almost, uh, well, over 25 years. So first of all, let's talk about the nutrition component. Balanced diet, really important, you know. Um, make sure you get your veggies, make sure you get your fruits, make sure you get some of your proteins, your lean protein sources, some of your carbohydrates. Try to stay away from the real sugary foods and desserts. Everything's sort of in moderation though, right? You wanna make sure that you do give yourself some of that, but just don't go crazy with that. I also like to uh, restrict my calories a little bit every day, you know, based on my caloric needs and my energy output, but I find that doing so really helps me, makes me feel good, good gut health and so forth. Um, and I am a fan right now at least of intermittent fasting, so you can do some research on that where you have a window of time each day in which you eat. I just feel as if it makes me uh, feel stronger and again helps with gut health and all these other elements. So look into intermittent fasting, do some research. Don't do it if you don't want to, but just look into it. It might be helpful for you. But that balanced diet moderation is going to be your best bet. Second up, we're going to talk about sleep, okay? Sleep is when your body recharges, you guys know that. So make sure that you get plenty of it. A lot of you are so busy at work, you're going, 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 you've got all these different things going on, you forget about how important sleep is in the performance equation so you don't get enough of it. So you want to make sure that you are trying to get that six to eight hours of sleep, there's different recommendations in there. One key recommendation is to try to stay off your device an hour or two hours before you go to sleep so you have a more restful sleep. The other thing is alcohol. You want to try to avoid alcohol right before sleep because you don't go into that deep uh, REM REM state. So make sure you avoid alcohol if at all possible and certainly avoid caffeine later on the day. And you know, I forgot about that, nutrition. Caffeine's a big part of everybody's life, right? Try to use that as a tool because again, it does boost that central nervous system. So try to use it properly as a tool if you're gonna use caffeine throughout the day. But back to the sleep element, make that an important part of your performance equation. Get plenty of sleep every day and you'll see your energy level super high um, on the next day and you'll be more productive. Lastly, let's talk about exercise. That's a big thing for me. Uh, I recommend trying to exercise five or six days a week. Try to take that one day off where you don't. Give yourself that little bit of a break. I'm a big fan of aerobic endurance exercise. It was my career for a long time, but I will tell you this, a lot of research shows that resistance training, using um, weights, machines, free weights, machines, um, body weight, whatever it might be, is really important. Developing muscle mass is boosts your metabolism. As you age, it's really important to maintain that muscle mass, continue to build your strength. So I'm a big fan of resistance training, probably three days a week or so, and lift some heavy weights too. I mean, make it work make your body work and you'll see a lot of gains. Remember, the more muscle you have, the higher your metabolic rate, more calories you'll burn, and the fitter and the healthier you'll be. So three days a week or so of that resistance training, couple days a week of the cardiovascular endurance training, and if you're an endurance athlete, as I know some of you are, make sure that you are incorporating that resistance training into your program in order to be a better endurance athlete, but also for your overall health and well-being. So again, nutrition sleep and exercise. Doesn't take a lot of work. Maybe carve out that 45 minutes to an hour a day to focus on the exercise piece. You can pre-plan your meals. You know, it's easy to take care of the nutrition component. Just try to stay away from the junk. And remember, balance, moderation is important. And then on the sleep side, make it a more important thing in your daily routine. Try to get that six to eight hours of sleep every night, Avoid alcohol late at night and stay away from your devices. And if you do all this, you're going to feel so much better in the morning, more energetic. You're going to show up with a high level of clarity, focus, 
um, and the ability to be much more productive at work. Not to mention the fact you're going to look better and you're going to feel better about yourself. All right, so I hope that was helpful. Please make sure you comment. Uh, if you have any questions or anything, please reach out. I'm always here to help. I'd love to talk to you about how to boost your personal performance. So please reach out to me, my website, TroyJacobson.com. That's all I have for now. Until next time, thrive and prosper.